Welcome to Das Geek. I am sick. I have a sinus infection. The affliction to all geeks is the sinus infection. But I'm very happy to because I am on Zubuntu 18.04 and oh my. If home is where the heart is, then XFCE is my home. I absolutely love XFCE. It was one of my first loves when it comes to Linux desktops. It's been a while since I've been back. I mean, part of being on Destination Linux and being able to talk about this stuff is trying all these distros and desktops, including Windows Managers, which I love, like i3. But now I'm back on Zubuntu XFCE, trying out the 18.04, and it's incredible. So let's go through some things here. So I want to go through the release notes because they know more about this stuff than me, obviously. So they're happy to announce... Uh, the 1804 will be supported for three years. Here are some highlights. Some GNOME applications are replaced with corresponding Mate applications, which is great because we all know how stable and awesome Mate is as a desktop environment as well. Those are my top two, period. If we're talking non-window manager desktops, it's XFCE and Mate all the way for me. The sound indicator plugin is replaced with XFCE Pulse Audio plugin. So let's take a look at that. Look how nice this is. So it tells me I'm connected to the Scarlet. It tells me my microphone is connected to the webcam, which I'm going to change that there. So that's an easy switch. And additionally, we could pull up the big volume control here and obviously select our different audio devices, our output devices, our input devices, and probably applications, I would imagine, here as well uh, for playback. All of that you can change from this selector. We also have the Parole Media Player built in. And this is what I like. I like this menu that I don't have to go to the big menu to be able to change things or go to the audio mixer to do that. I could do it right from here, which is super, super cool. Now, talking about window managers, one of the things I will show you guys is some tricks to make XFCE. The, I believe it's their WM4, is that right? XFWM4 is their window manager and show you how you can tile, do window tiling within XFWM4 and it's very, very good. It's very good. And then there's a script that you can go and get and utilize as well to allow you to add the additional functionality of moving screens, individual windows between your monitors. So within this, you can move them between your workspaces, but not necessarily your monitor. And there's a script you can download to do it for your monitor, which is really awesome. So that helps if games and things, if it opens on the wrong monitor, you can just hit a key combination and move it wherever you want, which is one of the cool things about Window Manager. Um, sound indicator plugin, new XFCE4 notify panel plugin is included and easily go into do not disturb. So you can just click do not disturb. If you don't want windows popping up while you're recording or playing games or whatnot, significant improved menu editing with new menu Libra version and better support for high DPI screens, better consistency and other improvements for Graber GTK plus some known issues out there of force UFEI installation, go back, continue and automatic select keyboard layout does not necessarily match the chosen region uh, bugs that they're working on are known issues in 18.04, but congratulations to the 18.04 team and everyone who has worked to make this such an awesome, awesome distribute. I just, I've been using it for the last few days on a full install on the beast and love it. This is what I love. Everything is where it should be. It's familiar and intuitive. So believe it or not, changing the clock from 24 to 12 hours can mean digging through menus and other desktop environments. Here, I can simply go right click on the clock that I just did there. Let's get this menu out of the way. Right click on the clock and then change it right here from the 24 hour to 12 hour format and I'm done. That's all I have to do. Changing my sound. You saw how easy that is. Maybe I don't want my task bar here anymore. So I can just right click on the panel, go to panel preferences. It highlights here. If the panel's locked, then I can't move it. I can unlock it and that's going to give me some bars so I can move it to the top and notice nothing here is creating hieroglyphics across my screen or suddenly because you move the taskbar, it goes black or some of the issues you run into in other distros. I can change the panel to hide intelligently, change the opacity and add in 
different plugins to the panel or create a new panel right here. Even though I clicked on this panel, I could still create a completely new panel to drag somewhere else. That's docky, but you can create your own panels with an XFCE and you could make a launcher panel if you wanted that auto hide it or anything else that you like. Additionally, you can see the customization here. So the whisker menu, if I want to change the icon like I have to the DOS Geek logo, change the title of the menu, change how things show up in the menu, the behavior, the commands, the search actions, all of that can be done just by right clicking on it. This is why I love XFCE. Everything is where it should be. Down here, I'm using Tilex. And so this gives me that window tiling like effect within terminals. This becomes advantageous when you are doing things like multiple um, servers that you're logging into, et cetera. You could keep track of them on different tabs and to add like a, you know, terminal underneath that you're just clicking these two buttons here. So Tilex is a separate program. It doesn't come with the Zubuntu, but definitely recommend it. It's fantastic. Uh, but was showing some of the tiling capabilities here. So going into that, in the window manager section, you can set your own controls for window management. So tile window to the left is just super and left. So let's grab a window here, and I want it to be super left or super right or up or down or whatever we want there. I can also move it to the top left with super seven, or I can move it to the right, or I can move it down to the bottom. And so you can start moving these windows around. Then you can see I can move it between the two monitors there using Control, Alt, and N. And that is one of the key combinations that I set up myself, and we'll go into those. So you can see there's a lot of tiling capabilities within this tool. <clears throat> and we also have our window manager tweaks. We're enabled display compositing. We can mess with placement, workspaces, the key used to grab different workspaces, our focus and our cycling. This is interesting. So this is something that's changed. So now I can customize the cycling. If I want it to look like a standard cycle, we can, which one is it? Cycle through windows in the list. If we uncheck that, we get your standard kind of menu here to cycle through our windows, or we can do it in the list style. So that's a very cool option. So, about the XFCE, what it comes with, XFCE desktop environment is your XFWM4 window manager, your panel XFCE4 panel, your desktop manager, your file manager is Thunar, Zubuntu again in the, in the kernel behind this. One of the things I love, and I have opacity on the menu, so that's why it looks weird. But one of the things I love is you can get to things like your networked devices without having to install additional drivers. Even in Manjaro recently, when I was trying it, it would see my Synology NAS, but it wouldn't let me connect to it. It would give me an error. But within Ubuntu-based distributions, I can always just simply click on it within the file manager and start scrolling and playing with my Synology NAS because all of those dependencies and SMB or whatever they call it for Windows Samba drivers are all installed there. So Thunar is a fantastic file manager. Absolutely love it. Of course, you can install your own if you wanted something like PC Man FM or something like that. But I always love Thunar. It has a lot of great settings and customization, and it's just a fantastic file manager. So you've got Thunar as your file manager, session managers, XFCE for sessions, and setting systems, XFCE for settings, app finder, and XCOMP there. So NVIDIA drivers, all you have to do is go to additional drivers. This is one of the things I love about the Ubuntu's. And it's going to search for any proprietary drivers out there. You're going to select the one you want, click apply changes, and boom, you're done. You now are on the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. None of this ridiculous type in 30,000 commands to get it to work. Now, if you want to mess with NVIDIA settings instead of your display settings, you can do NVIDIA xconfig. <clears throat> And this is going to create, you want to use sudo, by the way, but it's going to create an xex 11 xor comp file. I already have, so that's why it's already there. And then you could, uh, let me go back to the terminal emulator here. You could do sudo NVIDIA settings <clears throat> to launch it with sudo access so that whatever you save will save throughout every time you reboot. And we can change things like I want this monitor to be at 144 hertz, which you could have just done through the GUI. But I also want this force full composition pipeline 
And what that allows me to do is reduce any potential for screen tearing and that type of stuff. So that completely removes that. So things like NVIDIA out of the box, my printer was instantly found. No drivers needed to be installed, nothing. It just works right out of the box. The window tiling capability, the customization capability, right click on anything, change it to what you want, the menus, the settings, everything's intuitive. People sometimes give XFCE some flack saying, hey, the release cycle isn't as aggressive as other places. Well, maybe it's not as aggressive because when they make changes, they make sure it works and it works everywhere. And that's what I love about XFCE. And additionally, this version has a bunch of improved support for dual monitors and things which I run. I never had issues with my dual monitors, but others have said that they have had problems with their uh, in the past. So looking at Zubuntu, is it a, it's supposed to be an elegant, easy to use operating system comes with XFCE, which is stable, light and configurable. A lot of the desktop environments are light nowadays. So I don't think that's really one of the calling features. I mean, it is light, but so is Mate. I know he's going to hate me for that wimpy um, and other of uh, these desktop environments. So that's not one of the key things to it. The key thing to me is the customization and the flexibility of it and the fact that it's so freaking stable that's what makes this such an amazing experience so we've gone through the notifications i've showed you some of the settings i do want to show you the script real quick that you can launch here um, and we'll go to my github page and then i'll link it down below but this is a script you can install and you could just put it in your documents folder your home folder and ch mod it so it's executable and then set up a key bind for control in or whatever you want to move things between your monitors and let me see here if we go under my profile i think we'll see it here we go so this is let's go to the original i forked it over onto mine but this is the original person who created this move to next monitor and this is the script here that basically sets up. You just take this, you download it, move it into your home folder, and then you can bind this to your keys, to a key setting that you want to execute this file when you press those keys. And that way, anytime I hit that control alternate in, it's going to move the screen between monitors, which is great for games that are, you know, stubborn and want to open in the wrong monitor type of thing. So now... Now what we're going to do is games. I'm going to show you gaming on this because that's what I do. But Zubuntu 18.04 is amazing. I will be on this for a very long time. Additionally, the window management and tiling capabilities are incredible. Additionally, XFCE proves its constant stability and capabilities. Ubuntu proves that all of those kernel enhancements and drivers and capabilities to run things out of the box are unparalleled, maybe even unmatched. Love Zubuntu. Go out there and give it a try. Sean Davis and your entire team, you guys rock. Until next time, get out there and fill your brains. While Pontius was the strongest and bravest of them all, Zoya was another matter entirely.
Finally. What was that? Let's go! Enemy spotted! Thank you. 